Brisbane Farrell, the 28-year-old from Lurgan in County Armagh. In against the vastly experienced ex-World Master David Whitcomb for this, the 1985 Winner World please. Masters crowd. It's ready to throw first. Came on. Ray Farrell, the fireman from County Armagh, who's set him alight here 100. at the Rainbow Street. The first Irishman to reach the final of a world championship in against David Whitcomb, the 1982 World Master, bidding for his second title. 60. Just a reminder that it's now five sets. 100. And should we go into a tie situation in the final set, we then go into a tiebreaker. 60. Farrell started the day here as the outsider of the quarter finalists. He is still the outsider here on the book. 83. But, well, he's come all the way through to this final, and that's an achievement in itself. 140. Whitcomb is one of these uncompromising characters who gives nothing away. His scoring is consistent. His finishing is uh, very stylish. And Farrell, who has looked very much in command right the way through his matches, really. Never 45. in trouble. Game requires 156. But the Irishman's in against some real class now in Whitcomb. Ray requires 128. 42 score. Dave requires 56. For the first leg of the first set. Now double top. 16. Ray requires 86. An opportunity for the Irishman. Now the bullseye. 61 unlucky. Dave Whit for the wire 40. away. 40. Now two tens. Now fives. Yes, first leg. Dave Whitcomb. Second leg, it's Dave throwing first. Game on, please. Farrell had a chance at a double, and Whitcomb with the darts here. Certainly has been a world masters. I'll be talking around in the pubs and clubs for a long while. 41. The demise of the big names, the early departures, poor old Jockey Wilson gallantly being beaten early on with Lazarenko, Heath Deller, and of course last night, uh, sensationally, 100. Eric Bristow seemed to leave the way open for John Lowe, his old rival, but he ran into Bob Anderson in sparkling form. 22. And then Anderson. And able to ruffle David Wickham. Wickham has been, as always, a self-effacing character in the shadows. 60. And he's come through right from the bottom of the draw. And Farrell, well, played so well throughout. Just maybe... 121. Losing a bit of his edge. He certainly pulled himself together with those last three darts, mind. 101. For the first set. Two 16s now. 69 score. Farrell back on 236. 66. Unlucky. Day requires 32. And no real Perfect. danger for Whitcomb there. 
Can it stay to throw first? Game on, please. David Whitcomb has won two Opens this year in Finland and Sweden. The Scandinavian here obviously agrees with him. 100. Farrell, runner-up from the Dunlop Classic. Never really been this far before in a major event. 140! Seems to be slipping up a gear now. 140! has recorded two successive ton 40s. The boy has real class. 140! Day requires 161. Well, Bacon could still win this leg incredibly. Not now, though. One hundred and thirty-nine score. This is quite a leg. Day I'll dart. Now he wants the bullseye. 34. Dave requires 32. To really take this leg against all the odds. Yes! First leg. 13 darts from Whitcomb and Farrell recorded three successive ton 40s Second and leg. still Ready never got a shot at a double. How will that affect his concentration? It must be soul destroying. 140! Whitcomb, the quiet man, so often overshadowed. Really showing his teeth here. 140! Day requires 161. For the set. 105 score. Ray requires 120. Yeah, should be double top now. 80 score. Second dark Lovely. just crept into the treble segment. Day requires segment. 56. Double top four, Whitcomb. Now two tens. 36 score. Ray requires 40. A rare chance for Farrell. Two tens. Ah, that's where it tells. She requires 20. It would be a major surprise if Whitcomb doesn't uh, take advantage. Yes, yes. second set. Dave Whitcomb. First leg, third set, and it's ready to throw first. And uh, Ray Farrell has really got to step in here. 140! Two sets to love. David Wickham here leads. Best of five. Just needs this one for his second World Master success. And 8,000 pounds. 100! One hundred and twenty five. One hundred. Thank you. 
as it is to turn in this leg, Whitcomb again. 138! Leaving double top for Farrell. Ray requires 40. Yes, 40. In 13 darts, and there's no question the Irishman has the ability and the skill. He really has just got to stitch together the consistency that Wickham has found after long years in the big time. 140. Oh dear. It has really given Wickham incentive. 100. There's a popular feeling in doubts that David Wickham, although a great player, perhaps just lacks that will to win. 100. It's certainly not been evident in this final. He's moved about his business for the rare purpose. One hundred and one. One oh one. Now two sixteens. Sixty nine score. Seventy eight. K requires thirty two. Just this double to put him within one leg of victory. Yes, second leg. Jay Whitcomb. Third leg, Ray throwing first. Game on. Ray Farrell with a critically important leg. The fireman from Lurgan's hopes have gradually been doused. 100. 95. And that's exactly where the Ulsterman just lacks that little bit of consistency that makes all the difference at this level. Poor score, 41 at this stage, and a leg he must win. And here comes the reply from Whitcomb. 100. Second successive score of less than a ton. David Whitcomb again, whittling away. 60. 60. Time is getting short for Raymond Farrell. 100. Ton 40 here from Whitcomb would really put the pressure on. he's got to get it and that's 15 and that's unfortunate wanted the travel there and missed 74 84 score Dave requires 46 could be the moment for Dave Whitcomb 46 and now two nines it was a 10 first start two nines now Brisk, business-like performance, finally 
doused the Irish fire and fervour and passion. David Whitcomb, the 31-year-old from Essex, has come through the number three seed while his more illustrious, colourful rivals have faded and died. Well, David Whitcomb still forever blowing bubbles. There he is, David Whitcomb, for the second time, the Win My World Master. And a very straightforward victory indeed for Whitcomb. Looks as though the occasion might have got to Farrell in the end. But Dave Whitcomb deserving our champion. And he talks now to Dave Lanning. David Whitcomb, world master again. Many congratulations. It seemed to us in the commentary box that while perhaps the more illustrious names were falling by the wayside, you just kept chugging away in there and came through in the end. But how did you read it? Well, I was, I was playing well from the word go. I, I was playing well from yesterday. I thought that uh, I thought that I was playing as well as anybody, so all I had to do was throw me darts and you know hope to win. But when Eric Bristow went last night, and of course John Lowe this morning, did that give you further inspiration, perhaps? Well, not really, because you, at the end of the day, I mean, if they're still there, you've still got to beat them to, to win the tournament anyway. So I mean, if if they'd have still been left in, then I'd have had to beat them too to, to win the tournament. Whether you know I'd have lost or not, I don't know, but. What about your final opponent? Ray Farrell really has come through very well in the last year, but you really got a grip of him in the final. Yeah, he probably was a little bit nervous. I mean, it's his first final ever, you know, a big tournament. And uh, I've, been, I've been here before, so I know what it's all about. So, you know, uh, lucky, really. Lucky to have him in the final. But David, David, the last time I spoke to you here in 1982 when you won the title, I asked you what you were going to do with the money. £8,000, Richard. You said three years ago you were going to go to Rio to beat the tax man. What are you going to do with this prize? I don't know. Put it on also, I suppose. No, go to South End. Move to South End. You won't find me there. David Whitcomb, <laughs> many congratulations. World South Mar End will do for me. The Winmow, Dave Whitcomb's first and only world title. Now he's done it again. The ladies' football scores are coming up. Goodbye from us.